Now, so you're gonna make me some dinner? Um, okay, it's Sunday morning, so that means daddy's still asleep. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna make me then if I don't have any friends at home? Nothing? Okay. Happy Vlogmas. Welcome to the last vlog of this Vlogmas. If you have not been keeping up, I've been doing one of these vlogs a week for the month of December up until Christmas. So this will be my last one. Um, but yeah, today as we're filming this in real time, today is Wednesday. <laughs> And the clips that you all just saw were from yesterday. We took the kids to a children's museum. It's kind of far away from our house, but it is a newer one. So we kind of want to check it out and see what it was like. And the kids had a good time. A big, huge park that they were able to kind of play at and walk around at. So that was fun. And their dad was off yesterday too. So we were all together. So that was a nice day. Um, most of this vlog is probably going to be... I don't want to say kids centered, but the kids were out on Christmas break. Their last day at school was last Friday. So therefore all my time is pretty much with them. <laughs> so therefore they're going to be in the vlog. So today we've just been running some errands and we did a fun activity just a few minutes ago. So I'm going to insert that clip here. Getting ready to make these. So this is what's inside. It comes with icing and two cookies and these little candy balls. All right, so I cut it open. So let me move this. Um, this is the icing. You wanna put the icing down wherever you want and then you put the, and that'll stick the balls to it, the candy balls. Pull up your sleeves. What are you doing? Uh, oh, you want to see what it looks like on the box? You could do it however you want, though. Okay? Okay. Squeeze it gently the first time. Just right here. Is it coming out? Mm -hmm. You ready for one of these? I'm going to do purple. Okay. Now I'm going to open these up and put them here. That way you can just reach in there and get whatever color you want. Oh. You don't have to make it like the picture. You can make it however you want. Well, to put the balls down, you have to put the icing there first. You heard? Uh, okay. So we're all done. We got Chloe's and 
We got Noah's. He decorated his like the box. Both of them did a great job. Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah? You eating ice and Chloe? Hold on, hold on. One more picture. One more picture. How do you taste? Mmm. Mm. <gasps> okay. Mmm. Tastes good, Noah? <laughs> so, that was fun. Um, they are enjoying their gingerbread cookies right now as we speak. That's why I had a minute to come in here and talk to y'all. But, um, yeah, I finally did my meal today. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about them to be completely honest. I'm not a red person when it comes to nails But since it's Christmas, I wanted to do red, but then I also kind of wanted to do the glitter So I was like why not do both but now both is kind of like doing too much for me because y'all know I'm very Plain with my nails. I usually just like a plain color and it's never red <laughs> But I'll show y'all what I use all right, so for my nails, I started out with this. This is Ferrari Red D&D &D number 430. So this is the red color, and then the glitter that I used on top is Golden Sahara. Now, mind you, these are the regular nail polishes. <clears throat> on my nails, it's gel, but you can't see the gel color, so I figured I would just show you in these bottles. And then on my toes, I just did the regular nail polish, just the red. I didn't do the glitter on my toes, and I'm kind of wishing I would have just did the red on my nails, but... Anyway, they're not bad. They're just not like, I don't know me. They're, they'll probably last long because there's glitter there and I feel like you can always easily touch up glitter. Um, if it, you get a chip or crack or break a nail or something, I feel like it's easy to touch up glitter. I don't even know if they're coming off good on camera because of the glitter, but they're cute. They're just not really <laughs> me. But anyway, yeah, glad to have my nails done because they were looking a hot ass mess. So yeah, what am I about to do now? Uh, I'm about to figure out what we're doing for dinner. I don't really want to go out and eat anything, but I also do not want to cook. So I'm going to see what we have in the kitchen that's easy to prepare. Maybe something I could just put in the air fryer or something. I need to figure that out because clearly it is almost 4 o'clock. And the kids normally eat dinner at 5.30, y'all. And I still haven't figured it out because apparently this mom thing is not really working out for me this week <laughs> i'm just kidding but it's been an extremely busy week you know it's right before christmas i've been trying to do last minute shopping and everything like that i know a lot of y'all probably was done shopping probably a month ago but i ain't that girl okay <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna go figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner and i will see y'all later i'm hoping to do a fun like holiday cocktail tonight so if I do that, I'll definitely let y'all see that as well. So I'll see y'all in a bit. So I said I'll see y'all in a bit, but I almost forgot to come on here and thank you all for all the kind, encouraging words on my last Vlogmas. I was um, showing a vulnerable side of me and a lot of you all expressed how you appreciated that you all gave me encouraging words a lot of you all shared your story so i really just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart i am continuously going through those comments and trying to respond to all of them so if i missed yours i am so sorry but thank you all for all the encouraging words the prayers the thoughts the hearts the good vibes like <laughs> i really appreciate it and that was just a tough day for me please know that every day is not like that i am not miserable i have a good life. I am grateful for the things that I have. And when I say things, I don't mean like things. Obviously, I am grateful for material things, but I wasn't really talking about that. I'm talking about non-material things. I am grateful for all that stuff. And um, I was just having a moment, having a day. And I think that is real life. We all have that. It's normal. And I'm glad that me sharing that part of my day with you all helped some of you all um, to either maybe better understand or just to, somebody said help them to kind of think about how they're not empathetic towards others and so that that made me feel good that that was helpful to y'all and not only it was helpful to me too but i'm glad it was helpful to some of you all as well so again thank you and now <laughs> i'm gonna go Watch a movie. 
do. What? I was talking about a Christmas movie. We haven't watched that. Will Ferrell, Ryan Reynolds movie yet. But we can watch it another week. It's two hours. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So another day, another Target run. We just um, took Noah to speech and um, I picked up my Target order while we were out. So I figured I would just share with y'all the little stuff we got. It's just basic, boring stuff, but hey, that's the kind of life I live. So here we go. Let's see. Got some hot chocolates. This is for the children. And then I got this hot chocolate for myself. This is a peppermint hot cocoa mix from the Good and Gather brand. I usually get the salted caramel, um, which I do still have some of that one, but I saw this one and so I figured I would try it too. Got some salad. This is just a regular chopped Caesar salad. And then I picked up a couple of these soups from Panera. I'm trying not to really cook this week, cause like, why? <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah i picked up this soup this is the creamy chicken and wild rice soup and also the baked potato soup which my husband really likes Got those. you want all those different colors those are a lot of colors okay i thought you wanted christmas colors i didn't want it. i changed my mind okay let me unpack this stuff and then i'll paint your nails okay okay be careful. Well, this is something kind of fun. Let me lift y'all up a little bit. I know that's a weird angle, but at least y'all can see my face while I talk to y'all. <laughs> uh, I picked up this Christmas ornament. I usually like to pick up some sort of ornament that says 2022 on it every, or the year on it every year. And I hadn't gotten one yet. I'm super late in the game, but this one has it. There's some black people around a Christmas tree, uh, two parents and a boy and a girl. Um, with some records and everything. So I thought that was cute. So that's gonna go on the tree. Be careful, that can break. Got some bread. This is the best kind of bread. Artisanal by Sara Lee. Like the best kind of bread for like sandwiches and stuff. Some toaster strudels for Chloe. French toast sticks for Noah. Got multiple bottles of apple juice. We go through so much apple juice in our house. We actually water down our kids' juice still, um, and we will probably do that as long as we're able to because they drink a lot of juice, but it's watered down, so I don't feel that bad about it. But they prefer that over water. They think it tastes better. So, you know, we do what we can do. <laughs> and then um, paper plates, which is kind of the main reason I had to go to the store today because we're out paper plates and yeah. Who wants to be washing dishes? And then I went ahead and picked up this. This is actually for Christmas, but it is a set of cutlery, plastic cutlery. It's 60 pieces in here. I think it was like $6 or something. I don't ever really want the knives, but they didn't have it without. So forks and spoons, they look actually pretty nice. They don't look like plastic, just looking at them. They look like real gold flatware. So that was everything I picked up. I am gonna put this stuff away and I'll see y'all in a bit.
So I know my hair is still looking crazy, but we are at the house. <laughs> anyway, um, we are getting ready to do a little fun activity. So I figured I would show y'all what we're doing. So let me flip you around. Hmm? Can I see? Can you see what? Can I do? Can I you want to say hi? Yeah. Say. Hi. I can't see. You want to see yourself? Hi. <laughs> All right, so what we are doing is this. This is the Paint Your Own Wood Cookies for Santa kit. Uh, I picked these up from Target. I got two of them. I probably didn't need to, but I wanted the kids to have their own little paint um, because, you know, sharing. It's not really caring. And but, uh, anyway. the same nails. Yes, we have the same nails. Um, so yeah, we're getting ready to do this. We are outside, I'm getting ready to set up. It's a little bit cold today. Sorry, our extra cushions are up there, but it's a little bit cold. Um, so I'm gonna have them put on like their older jackets. Um, but the paint in these kits are always is always washable, so no need to really worry. Comes with everything you need, so paint, glitter, whatever. So um, I'm getting ready to set up so they can get start on this, so. I'll let y'all see. Hi. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna get the scissors to open these. Um. Okay. Go inside. Go put on your Crocs. And we're gonna get your jacket on, okay? Careful, be careful. Go. So, um, Did you buy that? Yeah, I bought those for you. Here, why don't you sit here? Do I have space? Yeah, so both of y'all have space. I gotta open them up. Cold. You're cold? No, the chair. Oh, the cold. chair is cold. Yeah, it'll warm up soon. These are like Christmas cookies for Santa, so you can paint them however you want. You don't have to paint them all if you don't want to. We can save some for another day if you want. It comes with the cookies and glitter and paint. This we're gonna put away to the side because this is what we're gonna put them on after they're dry. Okay. So that's the one you want to do first? Mommy, guess what? What? Let me see. Beautiful. I love it. You all done with that one? Yes. Okay. Two more. So we got Chloe's cookies all done. Was that fun, Chloe? Yes. All right, and then we got Noah's cookies all done as well. Noah did his like paper. Um, but they both had fun, right? You had fun, Noah? Yeah. All right. Which one is your favorite cookie that you painted? Chloe, which one is your favorite cookie that you painted? The gingerbread man, the first one? Yeah, that one's really cool. What about yours, Noah? Um, What's your first one that you painted? My first one is... I mean, not your first one, your favorite one, I'm sorry. <laughs> your favorite one is the first one you painted, the milk? Yeah. That was your favorite one to paint? Yeah. Okay, cool. Mommy. Yep, thank you. I closed all the colors. Thank you for closing them all up. Okay, go ahead and go to, the, um, go to this bathroom, wash your hands real good.
We did so good. On so baking. good. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, so it's a little bit later and I know y'all saw me making coffee, but that was hours ago, okay? I'm getting ready to make myself an espresso martini. I've made one before, one time before, um, like a week ago, but it was not uh, photo ready, y'all. It just, it did not make the gram. So I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> It tasted good, but it didn't look all pretty. But anyway, I'm gonna try it again. And last time when I made it, I made it at night. And then I had a hard time falling asleep. So this time, I'm making it in the afternoon. Um, we're not going anywhere today, so I'm not worried about driving or anything. But last time when I made it, it didn't give me a buzz, really. I don't think so. But it did give me kind of that coffee feeling. Anyway. We're about to try to make it. So first I'm gonna make my shot of espresso. I'm probably gonna mute the video for this process and y'all will just hear music, so I'm not gonna talk through the entire thing. So you'll just see me doing all the stuff. So first up, making my espresso. my pictures it looks better than last time because it is more of a caramel color because I shook it more last time I didn't shake it enough so this time I really try to go for the gusto with my shaking so let's taste it delicious now mine is very coffee forward which I think <clears throat> the ones I've had I've had espresso martinis before like out and I think like if you make them with Kahlua, they're sweeter, but this, I don't have Kahlua. <laughs> so I use what I had y'all. So I have this coffee liqueur that I got from Total Wine that I drink straight sometimes like on the rocks. And it has actual Cuban coffee infused into rum. So I think it's stronger, more car coffee tasting than Kahlua. Kahlua to me kind of tastes like sweet coffee milk. This one doesn't have that milky kind of taste. So um, I use what I had though. So got this and then also, the vodka I use, I'm not a vodka drinker, y'all, and my husband isn't either, so we really don't have vodka. So somebody gave us this, or it came in like a gift basket or something, I think from a company. <laughs> so um, yeah, that we have this, Smirnoff vodka, so that's what I used. Um, now, if I were going out buying materials, I would probably buy something that I thought was a bit higher quality, even though I think Smirnoff isn't bad for... I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't drink vodka like that. But I think Smirnoff is okay for a cheap brand. 
but I probably would have bought something a little bit more high quality if I was going out buying ingredients to make this, like Syrah, I, I know I like Syrah or Grey Goose, so I probably would have bought either one of those, but yeah, it tastes good. So I'm going to enjoy this, and then I'm going to attempt to watch a Christmas movie with my kids if they would sit still. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see y'all later. Cheers. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So I feel like every day in this vlog, I have come on looking like a cartoon character or something. Like, look at me right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do better though. I'm actually getting ready right now. So I should look a little cuter by the end of this. Um, so I figured I would turn the camera on since I'm getting ready to do a little bit of makeup. But first, I'm not fully dressed yet. I gotta put on my sweatshirt, but I am smelling amazing, so I really wanted to share it with y'all. I am going to be doing a every fragrance I wore video. Um, you all won't see it tomorrow, so not on Sunday because it's Christmas. So it will be going live on Monday, but this will be in there. So, you know, you got it early if you watch the vlogs, but I'm smelling amazing. So I started out by using this. This is the Nemat Vanilla Musk Oil. I mix it in with my lotion. I, this is relatively new to my collection and I've used it a little bit, but I use it a little bit more today than I have typically used it. So I actually mix in a little bit more of my lotion. And so by the time I finish applying my oil, I mean, by the time I finish applying my body lotion, I could already smell the vanilla goodness. So yes, this started out as an amazing base. And then on top of it, I sprayed Amouage Crimson Rocks. I have, I feel like I've been talking about this a lot lately, but it's amazing y'all. It's so good. The more I wear this, the more I love it. It is a vanilla that is a little bit sweet, but it's not really gourmand. It's more spicy. It has frankincense in here. And I feel like that really sets it apart than some other vanilla fragrances. And for some reason to me, it kind of smells like there could be something almondy in here, but I'm pretty sure there's no almond note. But to me, it kind of smells like there could be a little bit tiny bit of a nuttiness in the background of this fragrance it's gorgeous so yeah i'm smelling amazing right now so i just wanted to share that because i feel very very good about it so makeup we're gonna keep it pretty light today all right so i was gonna just do concealer only routine that i do upstairs normally in my bathroom but i decided i'm gonna put on a little bit of um foundation powder today. So I'm gonna start out by applying this. This is the NARS Tinted Glow Booster in Dark Barbuda. This I'm pretty sure is discontinued, but I love it. It's just like a tinted illuminizer. Um, I have it in two shades. One is a little bit darker and one is a little bit lighter. So it really just depends on what foundation I'm using it with as to which one I use. But I love it. I really wish they still had this. So what I like about it is that it gives me a little bit of glow, but it's just like the tiniest bit. And I don't like to do a lot of glow on my face to be completely honest y'all, because I don't always set my foundation. And also my skin is oily. So I don't really feel like I need to do a lot of like glowy products, but this one, you probably can't even tell the difference, but hopefully you can see just a tiny bit of glow which I like, I kind of felt like I needed that today. So, um, concealer I'm going to use is this one. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. And this one is in the shade 31Y. I bought a lighter color, but I don't know what I did with it, y'all. I've already lost it. And I think it's because I've been doing like Christmas gift stuff in this room. And I think it's probably mixed in with some of that. Like, I, I, I have no idea. I don't know what happened to it, but, or is this a lighter one? Maybe this is the lighter one. I don't know y'all. I don't know, but this is concealer reason today. Um, I'm gonna let that sit for just a second while I do my brows. All right, brows are done. Um, I really need to groom them, but I think I'm gonna either do that tonight or tomorrow. I feel like I'm the only person who still uses these, these kind of brushes, but I really like them to blend out concealer when I don't feel like using a beauty blender. Cause I don't always feel like going through that whole wetting it and all that, especially on like lighter makeup days. All right, so I'm using the Fenty Powder Foundation. This is in the shade 350. 
I have two shades of this. This one is the lighter one. Uh-oh. Y'all, I'm slipping. Every time, sorry. Every time I turn the camera on, I feel like I forget how I normally do my makeup. <laughs> I need to set my under eye. I don't like to set it with a 50 powder because it's too dark, I feel, anyway, for my under eye. This is the Beauty Bakery setting powder that I always use. I feel like I've had this powder for years and I still have so much left. I think because I really don't, well, I guess I don't have that much left, but it's probably like three fourths of the way done, but I've had this for a long time. But I think it's because I don't set my whole face. And when I do, I don't use something that mattifying like that. I'll use something different like the hourglass powders or something like that that are more so finishing powders, but I don't really like to set, like fully set my face with a thicker powder like that, just because I feel like it makes me look dry. And I know I can go through the whole spray thing, but I feel like I get the similar results from not setting and not spraying as opposed to setting and then spraying. I don't think my makeup lasts any long. I mean, I guess it depends on what foundation I'm wearing. Some of my foundations last a long time. Like the, if I want like a really long lasting beat, I will use my, nars soft matte foundation and sometimes i'll spray that but i definitely don't set that and it lasts forever <laughs> so i guess it's just what you like there's no right or wrong way to do makeup um you do what you like so i don't do it the way that i feel like most people do it but it works for me and i do i feel like i do a good job in my makeup and I actually got, when I went to the wedding last week, I got a compliment from a makeup artist on my makeup and that made me feel amazing. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Anyway, um, bronzer, what are we gonna use today? I think since I'm using the powder um, foundation, I'm gonna use this makeup by Mario bronzer. It is quite shimmery. Where's my brush? I'm sorry. The way I set y'all up on my camera, it kinda is in the way for where I do my makeup since I don't have a full on like vanity anymore. Um, but yeah, I have to be in the mood to wear this Makeup by Mario bronzer because it is quite glowy. So, I don't know, I'm not always wanting that, but sometimes I do. I said this was a light makeup day, but then here I go with this bronzer. All right, so since I'm trying to keep it pretty natural looking, I think I am just going to use a pretty natural looking blush. I'm gonna use um, NARS Gina. Let me grab it. All right, so this is NARS Gina. It is a like peachy shade. I guess it's more of a, a light orange. It's not really, well, I don't know. It's between a peach and a light orange, but I feel like a lot of peaches don't work well on melanated skin like myself, but this one does. It doesn't look ashy, so. This is what I'm just putting on my cheeks. This is an everyday blush for me. Uh, I used to use this like almost every day, like literally, but yeah. So it provides a little bit of something, but not too much. That's that, and then what else? Oh, just mascara. So the mascara I'm gonna use is this one from MAC. This is the In Extra Dimension 3D Black Lash. And I'm trying to keep it, like I said, I'm trying to keep it a little natural. So I'm gonna just try to do like very minimal coats. I am not going to um, talk while I do this part because whenever I do that, I get mascara on my, on, down here or I blink or I hit my eye or something. So I'm actually gonna turn the camera off because it's distracting when I do my mascara. So just a sec. So even though I stopped recording on my camera, I still made a mistake on my mascara. And I swear, when I'm doing my makeup, like on a regular, I never do this. But every time I film myself doing my makeup, I made a mis make a mistake. At least I didn't hit myself in the eye this time, which is what I usually do. But I just um, kind of dropped some underneath my lashes. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna clean it up with a spoolie. So while that dries, um, let's take this hair down. I washed my hair last night, so it's a little bit small. That's okay, first day. All right, so that's the hair for now. Um, and let's do my lip gloss. All right, lip gloss I'm gonna use today is this one from Maybelline. This is the Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. All 
right, so that's the look. I am gonna go to the bathroom, see if I can clean this up, finish getting dressed, and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all, it's later in the day, and guess who just finished wrapping their very first gift? Me, okay, mom of the year. <laughs> I haven't even wrapped any of my kids' gifts, to be honest. But um, yeah, I just wrapped some gifts for my husband. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I wrapped about four gifts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Noah's at therapy right now. We're getting ready, closing dinner. And after she finishes, it'll be time to go pick Noah up. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all that I finally wrapped a gift, okay? <laughs> Real time, this is Friday, meaning two days before Christmas. So. I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, so first up, I know this is a weird angle, but this is the best light I can get right now. It is nighttime. I am getting ready to take a shower and then probably wrap some of the kids' gifts, so I'm not doing it all tomorrow. Um, but I really just wanted to come back on and tell you guys, thank you for watching these Vlogmas videos. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Typically, I do have videos go up on Sundays, but because this Sunday is Christmas, I'll be celebrating with my family. I really hope you all will be celebrating with yours or at least get to FaceTime your family if you don't see them in person or find some sort of joy with friends or something. So I pray that you all have a great holiday and my next video I will be putting up Monday instead of Sunday. So anyway... Have a nice one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.